Okay, let's have one more Blitz game, I think. We're playing Ash Ahsan Bini from Pakistan. Rated 1941. So, <clears throat> possible Minzo Indian here if I play Knight C3. So let's see if we get a Queen's Indian with B6. No, we get a Bogo Indian. Hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm um, not really sure what to do about this. Okay, I'll open the A file for him. Let's just uh, let's just see if he gives me the after a3 now. Let's see if he gives me the bishop pair. <clears throat> yeah, he does. Now, of course, I give it right back. So, that's something to keep an eye on. Um, the question is where I want my queen when I drop the bishop. So, <clears throat> here I guess is fine. Just put her on the dark squares because I've lost my dark square bishop. Um, I could play this now. There's no bishop to block in. Uh, can I give him the isolated pawn here? Spectator. Someone named John Player. Hello, John Player. Uh, Yeah, I can give him an isolated pawn here. So why don't I do that? Or does he want to trade queens? It's a temporary pawn sacrifice. That he played. Well, now... I'm up two pawns. I'll just try to hold on to these two pawns here and play bishop d3 and castle as soon as possible. Well, that's not going to help me when I lose all these tempos. Okay. Not really thinking about that. So, bishop d3 and castles, I just want to get in here quickly. I'm losing development here. I haven't castled yet. I'm also down on time. So let's just try to castle as soon as possible. <clears throat> as in... Like, next move. Unless he gives me a reason not to. Okay. Um, I just see no reason not to just castle here. Um, I don't need to be stubborn and hold on to the pawn. If I play queen here, if he grabs the pawn, then I'll have, I have the move e4, possibly winning the knight because the queen will be pinned. Yeah, e4. What's he doing about e4? It looks like this wins the knight. But I'm sure there's some tactical response that I'm not uh, I'm not seeing here. Also, knight g5 looks good. He's got to stop the mate by playing f3. which uh, would drop the bishop. <clears throat> Let's just see what happens here. I guess he's trying to figure out a way to save his knight right now. But it doesn't look like he can save it, because the knight can't go anywhere and attack my queen. So uh, he could maybe counterattack the bishop, 
but when I take the knight, I'll be protecting the bishop. So there's it doesn't I, I don't really see any way for him to to win this knight. Okay, when I take the knight, he'll play rook takes. So even if he, yeah, bishop. Okay. So I'll just grab it. He'll play rook takes. I'll play. Wow. What about this? doesn't actually save the piece, does it? It actually gives the piece back. Yeah. That's a shame. Well, okay, I didn't calculate that properly, but I did get a little bit of a time edge. Okay, of course, he has to move the bishop now. And I do have this passed pawn. which I sort of have to push. Man, I had such a nice... I can't believe I gave that piece back. Actually, I can because I'm horrible at tactics. So let's do this. He'll probably try to kick the knight and win the pawn back. If he doesn't... Yeah. This should give me time to try to hold on to the pawn. Rook to here. So that's nice. I should put these rooks on dark squares, lest he start attacking it with his bishop. So he's preparing to double on the... On the and I'm prepared to hold on to it. So it's going to be tough here for me to hold on to this pawn, but he has to blockade it. Uh, I'm just going to bring my king in also. I've got a time edge. Man, I'm really upset that I found that nice tactic and, and gave the piece back. Oh, we have two spectators now. Uh, Djuric. Hello, Djuric. His dark squares are kind of weak, so... Maybe I can run in on the dark squares and try something over here. Probably not, but you never know. Actually, I should go about putting my last pawn on it. Wow. I guess he's just going to give up the exchange here. Yeah, he decided that rather than put up with my past pawn, he was just going to give the exchange... So I'm going to put my last pawn on dark squares, so this bishop can never, can never deal with, uh, can never get rid of this pawn. And now my plan will be to just run in here and try to grab these, maybe even sack the exchange back for these uh, queenside pawns. And I'm going to win this game on time pretty easily. Um, no, I can't play check. I'll do this. Um, I'm not really concerned about this. He can't create a pass pawn, and uh, hmm. I'm gonna just win this game on time. It's an interesting end game. He's gonna try to play king to h3, and 
grab this pond. Anyway, so that was a, I don't know. I mean, I had this nice tactic here, d4 to win the pawn, or to win the knight. But then I, I kind of ridiculously gave it back, because I'm just not very good at tactics. So what I should have done here is... Probably queen to g3, attacking this bishop, and then if he grabs my bishop with the rook, I grab his bishop, and if he plays bishop takes, then of course I'll just take with the bishop protecting mine. So that would have been the tactical solution there. And that would have just been a piece up for nothing. Anyway, at some point he decided to... Uh, at some point he decided to sack the exchange for this passed pawn. Um, I don't know, I guess he just didn't like the look of my pieces coming into his king side. So this is just a, a one end game, you know. I thought about sacking the exchange back over here just to get some pass pawns, but with the time edge that I had, I figured I'd just play it safe. So, anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed that game, and uh, we'll see you next time.